everybody, this is Praxis and it works. All the tunnels that run under the floor, they work really, really well. Uh, I just took the time to chisel out the exit port. Uh, it was uh, made out of foam, as you guys recall. Uh, it was 26 inches off one wall, 32 inches off the other wall. I was able to take the measurements, find the location, got it all chiseled out and opened up, pulled out all the foam, and uh, it worked really, really well. It's a nice little uh, rectangular register hole there. We're going to go over there in just a moment, but first I wanted to show you what I've got installed over here. Here is where the air goes down into the slab. There's a, a six inch uh, vent pipe here, and this <coughs> is a uh, ventilation fan. <coughs> It's used for like uh, uh, indoor growing. Uh, like I, 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 honestly, I think there's a lot of this stuff available because of the new marijuana industry uh, that you can you know, get a lot of indoor kind of growing uh, stuff. But this is a really energy efficient fan. Even at its highest setting, it only runs at 40 watts, which is pretty good uh, for a ventilation fan. And it, it's really strong. It pushes it a lot of air through. Uh, one of the things I like about this is that it has a kind of a a dimmer right on it so that I don't always have to run it at the full 40 watts but let's run it at the full amount so you can kind of get a sense of it. I'm going to turn it all the way up and it makes some noise over here but this is going to be back in the utility room so even if I had it at this full speed you know it wouldn't be super loud in the rest of the house but I think most of the time I'm not going to be running it anywhere near this full power. Maybe I can run the thing at like 10 watts you know do, or, 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 even, or even less than that. I'm going to have to kind of play with it and see what kind of air I get going through. But for now, I want to run it <coughs> at full power because there is a lot of humidity under there and I want to just get that uh, subterranean tunnel situation all nice and dried out so that you know I'm not getting mold and stuff. So this is going to grab air from over here. It's going to pull it down from the top part of the house. But we're going to go right over here. I'm going to carry you guys very gently this time. I'm not going to pull any of that shit I did before about spinning you around. Just because I'm so happy. Uh, and here is the hole that we uh, chiseled out of here. I made it so that it fits a 4 by 12 inch register and I already checked that in there. It fits in really nicely. Now I can feel <coughs> the air coming out of here really uh, well. I obviously know you guys can't, but here's some uh, here's a little piece of um, bubble pack stuff and you can see how well that's blowing through. So it's going through <coughs> the whole array of, uh, and you can see over here, not at all, and then really gets blown up. So there's a lot of air coming through here. It feels really nice. I can imagine how this is gonna feel later on once the slab gets warmed up and we're running that and it's kind of a cool day. We get the wood stove going and this is gonna be warm, dry air coming up out of here. This would be a great place to just kind of hang out and you put a little table here and have it blow on your, on your toes. It seems like this would be a really comfortable place to hang out. So I'm really, really psyched that this uh, worked out. I, I had put the register on uh, earlier, but I was thinking, you know, it does somewhat impede the airflow, so I'm just going to leave it off. And for now, just let that kind of go through. I can smell uh, the moisture in there. Uh, it doesn't smell like horrible, like, a, like an awful basement. It's got like a black mold issue, but it definitely... <coughs> definitely has that kind of damp basement smell and I'm just going to keep that thing running through here until all those tunnels down there are nice and dry. In com uh, combination with the dehumidifier, I think we're going to get this place all dried out and uh, I'm really, really happy about this. I mean, it was a big fingers crossed, a lot of work went into it and I wasn't going to know whether it was going to really work until today. I'm really psyched because I put a lot of effort into this thing and it's, uh, it's nice that it's working really well. That's it. Thanks for watching.